Hello there once again, gentlemen and gents. It's your old pal, Lock the Bounty Hunter, and things are not looking good down in Tinseltown right now. In fact, they're looking less than good. They're looking pretty god-awful. A lot going on over there. Let's go ahead and take a look at that because a recent string of high-profile exits in Hollywood is fueling questions whether backlash towards the left's diversity push has reached the entertainment industry. And coincidentally, people are constantly wondering if water is wet, if old school video games are fun, and if chocolate ice cream is tasty. Between June 20th and July 3rd, at least five executives at top entertainment and media companies leading diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives have stepped down or pushed out of their roles. Now, for those of you who are fortunate enough to not be familiar with the concept of diversity, equity, and inclusion, let me sum it up for you real quick. You need to face the fact you're a racist. A racist. You, not me. I'm not the racist. On June 20th, it was revealed that Disney's chief diversity officer, LaTondra Newton, was leaving her post after leading the mouse's DEI department since 2017 to focus on her own company. Variety reports Disney is seeking a replacement. Yeah, they're searching really hard. They're looking at the pile of resumes that someone left in the wastebasket on the 35th floor break room. They found one with a pizza stain on it that's almost legible. Moving on, under Newton's watch, Disney Parks aim to use more gender-neutral language, phasing out the greeting ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and implementing inclusive language for employees who ran the Cinderella-themed boutiques formerly called Fairy Godmothers in Training to become Fairy Godmothers Apprentices. And honestly, not a moment too soon. I couldn't go to work without hearing somebody complain that Disney was being so insensitive with the phrase Fairy Godmothers in Training. And what she did in order to change that and to shut up my co-workers man it was so stunning so brave we want to create that magical moment with our cast members with our guests newton previously said and we don't want to just assume that because someone might be in our interpretation may be presenting as female when they may not want to be princess no offense, but it sounds like some f***ing commie gobbledygook. But if you think it's just the Mouseketeers that are getting out of this game, no, don't worry, because on June 28th, it was announced Netflix inclusion strategy chief and self-described DEI expert Verna Myers is stepping down in September after five years, but will remain as an advisor for the streaming giant. I totally see where this lady's coming because I actually identify as a samurai expert, so this totally works out. Now, there's a whole bunch of other layoffs and uh, step downs that are going on in Hollywood right now, but it's really starting to affect Disney because the Disney theme parks have actually been feeling the brunt of this uh, in, in a really bad way. If you take a look at this, Disney theme parks surprisingly empty this summer as ticket prices remain high. This is from the New York Post. Walt Disney World and Disneyland have seen significantly shorter wait times to get on rides. Now, back in the day, many of us would think this was a good thing, mainly because you never wanted to wait basting in the sun in your own juices for a three and a half minute ride that had a 50-50 shot of actually functioning properly. Any kid who's been to a theme park knows that the shorter the wait, the better the place. However, in this case, it's not that great because Disney is in the midst of a $5.5 billion cost-cutting spree that has resulted in layoffs across its divisions, including sports cable empire ESPN. Even though I shouldn't be surprised that Disney owns ESPN, I'm actually kind of shocked to find that out. If there's anyone else who can tell me the other obscure things that Disney owns, let me know in the comment section down below. But let's be real here. Is anybody really that surprised that Disney is hemorrhaging money hand over fist? Outside of shoddy investments, getting into a pissing contest with the Florida governor, not to mention brilliant ideas such as this. Is there any real wonder why consumers are starting to do this? No, 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 not this fucking time, no fucking way, no fucking way. Because when you take a gigantic economic recession and combine it with people who are tired of having political themes shoved in their faces constantly, they're gonna start speaking out with their wallets. Now we've already seen massive boycotts in the food industry, in the beverage industry. Now it's coming after entertainment in my opinion depending on where you sit on everything it's either going to be an absolute win or a complete and utter disaster and considering the massive middle finger that
that the Marvel Extended Universe has constantly given to Nick Fury over the last six or seven years, I honestly can't say I'm surprised at the backlash. Well, guys, that is gonna do it for me on this video. If you have found yourself being brought to the brink of laughter with my silly little antics, why don't you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below. Leave me a comment in the comments section and ring that notification bell. Let's go ahead and give the good old fashioned middle finger to the YouTube algorithm, guys. Looking forward to seeing you on the next video. We're going to have some good laughs and good times, but until then, peace out, homies.